presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Check, 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 check. Come on, let's go. Brandon. Now Taylor to throw on second down. It's complete to his tight end, Charles Clay. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. There's complete to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out central casting, Frank. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I can't help it. I'm just sitting back in admiration right now. This defense tells everyone that plays against them, you're not beating us running the football. That's who we are. That's what we're about. It's not going to happen. If you're going to beat us, you better pick another way. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. And with the big gain, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. Carpenter now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll come out in the pistol. Here's Roethlisberger. And he's got the AFC leader in receiving yards last year, Antonio Brown. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Looking deep down. It's caught inside the 25. That goes for a gain of 31. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that when both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think the odds actually are in favor of the offense. They can see the ball coming oftentimes before the defender can get his head around. So I think that really goes to like 70-30, and they should be able to go up and get it most of the time. And he got it there. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. And he'll get it up the middle. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, it wasn't much of a gain, but we're getting near the two-minute warning. So maybe they just want to get to that point, regroup, and decide what they want to do the rest of the half. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back to Buffalo after this. A reminder that 
game coming up in two minutes. We'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heel. I'm going to be right there with you, Parker. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Tyrod Taylor now gears up to lead his offense again. You know, normally he's probably pretty happy with his performance at this point. He's played pretty well. Bottom line, they're down on the scoreboard, so I'm go. guessing he's not that happy. No, the fantasy owners who have him for this week, oh, they're happy with what's going on. But for him leading a team, trying to win a ball game, I agree with you. Not happy at all. Trying to figure out how to up his game and inspire his teammates to do the same. That's a true leader. Here's Taylor to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Roethlisberger looking to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six, and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden, you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. A chance for us again to look at this Pittsburgh defense. Let's go! Brian 38! Brian 38! On first and ten, it's Taylor. He's got time. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. Man open right side, it's the tight end clay. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 61 yards. And now a first down following that long gain. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. His throw incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense, but in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass, excellent job, way to knock it down. Second and 10 now, it's Taylor. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now whistles come in. We're gonna get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Throwing again, it's Taylor. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And Carpenter knocks it through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. 
So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. This will be fielded at the eight. Oh, a little 360. Oh, <laughs> and he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. They've got the lead and certainly a big reason why some of these catches we take a look at right now. And I've seen it so many times that when units start to play really well, they feed off of each other and play. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. This will be fielded at the six. Oh, spinning away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He was looking for his big tight end there, Jesse James. And it's second down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Second and ten, it's Roethlisberger once more. Man open left side is Brown. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Hurry up, let's go! Brown, the lone receiver left. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? 